Hey guys, it's Wacko X here and I am back for another video. Now in this video today guys, I'm going to be unboxing the Razer Black Widow Ultimate Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Now, I was going to get the Expert Edition but I thought I'd go all out and just get this one because it has amazing backlit um, LED sort of thing across the back of the keyboard and it really does light up and it really does like look good. <laughs> um, now we're going to unbox it and take a look around the uh, the box and what it has on the box and stuff like that. So let's have a look at the front just to begin with. So as you see on the front it actually has um, a nice picture of the gaming keyboard on the front with the uh, the backlighting uh, that's lighting up the, uh, the keyboard and the keys. So uh, it also has um, improved anti-ghosting um, on this, I think it's like a 10 key rollover, so you can press 10 keys all at once and it'll register it. So that's pretty good. Um, now, as you can see here, um, it has the uh, the up, down, left, right uh, keys. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm just going to bring it up to the microphone so you can hear what it actually sounds like when I tap on the keys. So it has like a really, really like clicky effect. This is due to the uh, Cherry MX Blue keys, which is uh, under the keys. So they're pretty good. Um, I'm just going to read a couple of things on here, as you can see um, on the screen right now. It has full mechanical keys. Um, it has 10 key rollover, as I just said, with anti-ghosting. And it has individually backlit keys. So this is more efficient for uh, low light play and stuff like that. So that's really good. I'm going to pop it back down there now and we're going to just look on the back now so if I just flip it over another um, diagram of the keyboard itself but this diagram on the back is actually labelled so as you can see it has individually backlit keys easy access to media keys for like play, pause and stuff like that uh, for your music on the side it has audio out and microphone in jacks and it also has a USB um, uh, like port on the side as well so uh, yeah that's pretty good and um, the mechanical key arc architecture is also on the keys as well it has like a distinct tactical, uh, tactile feel and faster response um, fully programmable keys five additional gaming keys it says just down here so there's like micro keys uh, macro whatever you want to call them down the side it has five of them um, on the side it just talks about Razer Synapse, as you can see here, whoa, shaky hands. <laughs> uh, Synapse 2.0 and it's powered by Razer technology and stuff like that. Another diagram of the keyboard on its side. If we flip it over onto the other side, turn it around for you. It's quite a heavy keyboard to be honest when it's in the box anyway. Um, so it just has a nice diagram on the side again, it just has more features like, um, what's it say there? Uh, 1000 GHz Ultra Polling. Um, and just stuff like that, backlit keys, which we're going again, uh, macro keys, um, anti ghosting, microphone jack, earphone jack, USB pass through, and uh, just stuff like that. Yeah, so it says uh, on the fly macro recording. So you can record macro keys and uh, like whatever function you want to do in different order. So moving on to the unboxing, let's get straight into it. I'm just going to flick the tab open here, like I said it did come in a cardboard box um, so I took it out of that, I slipped the uh, slit on the side so it's easier for me to unbox. I'm just going to pull it out now and reveal the keyboard. So here it is, it's quite heavy in the actual thing. I'm just going to uh, move this box off to the side as we don't need to see this anymore. So yeah, here it is, it comes, it's, like it's got a matte black finish as you can see. If you can see like the uh, the box is already like broken and stuff like that, that's because I've tried to force it out like a kid at Christmas. Um, when I first got it I did unbox it already and uh, play with it already. <laughs> so yeah, um, here it is, uh, slamming it down. It has like a plastic covering on the front just to protect these keys, but you can actually uh, just press them so you can actually hear that. Now it has like a removable box here, just like that, you can take that out so you can actually put your hand in there and remove the keyboard. So I'm just going to pull this out, bear with me. Just like that, it just simply slips out like that. I'm going to remove the plastic covering. Just like that. So there's the keyboard. And I'm going to remove this from the, uh, the packaging, all the wires. There's like a, a packaging on the uh, cable, on the cables and stuff like that. 
So just bear with me one moment while I uh, just put this box to the side. Alright guys, so we're back here now and as you can see I've pulled the keyboard out of the uh, box. It was kind of a bugger to get out of that box with the player, with all the like the uh, what's this called, looking plastic sheeting over the top. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of tough to get it out but I got it in the end. Uh, so this is a little packet now, as you see uh, you always get like a little packet with Razer, they have absolutely great packaging. So as you can see, pull the tab to open, let's uh, try not to rip this and just pull that out. There you go, if we uh, just pull this out now, I'm trying to do it so you can see as well. So this is just some documentation just to let you know that the keyboard is actually authentic. So I'm just going to pull all this out and make sure I get grab all of it. Yep, so that's empty now, pop that down there. So as you can see now, I'm going to just do this over here so you can see. So this is just basically authentication. Um, I've just saying it's real. Welcome to Razer, congratulations, there's no turning back. Like always, I've got that on my death adder mouse. Um, rewards for Razer Faithful. Uh, it's just telling you about the Synapse 2.0 that you can use. Um, and a quick start guide. Some other important information. And like always, two Razer stickers, which is awesome. Alright guys, so we are going to just look at the keyboard a bit more in depth. So, yep, as you can see, um, it's just like the keys are individually backlit. I don't know if you can see this already, but if I just tilt it a bit so it's level with the camera, I don't know if you can see that green tint sort of down in between the keys. That's the, um, it's like it has like a green like covering down the sides of the, the keys. So like when it lights up, um, it shines really, really brightly. So as I was talking about earlier, um, it has the, um, the macro keys down the side. And it's really, it has a really, really clicky sort of response. It's such a lovely keyboard though, it's untrue. Um, it has all the media keys along the top, like play, pause, volume up. Um, and FN and these two keys here turn the brightness up and down of the LED backlit keyboard. So this is basically it. If you're wondering why I'm not showing you the uh, LED backlit um, keys and stuff like that, that's because that's coming in the review. This has been the unboxing. If you have enjoyed this video today, guys, don't forget to leave a like. Look out for the review because it's coming very soon. I'm going to get this uh, keyboard plugged in. I'm going to leave it a week or two and I'll get the review uploaded for you guys and tell you how I feel about the keyboard. Um, I've used it for about three days so far and it's been pretty, pretty cool. It sounds absolutely amazing. You can probably hear it in the background. And yeah, just overall, I'm happy with this product so far. Let's get straight into the review, and I'll see you over on the other side, guys. If you have enjoyed this video today, guys, leave a like. Like always, like you always do. Leave a comment if you like it. And yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Just to let you know, this is around £130 on Amazon. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I've been the Wacko X. See you later, guys. Goodbye. Late.